Coach, I know you're not happy with the loss, but we like to look at the glass as half full. You were down 30 to eight and came back and had a chance to possibly tie it up at the end. Well, it shows a lot about the character of our team. You know, the kids fought all the way to the end, man. They gave a great, great effort. Did we play uh, perfectly? Uh, no, you know, uh, offensively we made too many mistakes. And when you're playing a really good team like Southeastern, you can't uh, you can't make those type of mistakes. Uh, but I'm proud of them. I'm proud of our defense. Our defense, they really fought hard from the beginning to the end, you know. So we still have a good football team. We've got a lot of football left to play. So uh, we'll, we'll bounce back, get back, and get ready to go next week. Offensively, it almost looked like that the offensive unit was trying to knock some rust off. Do you think that having not played in two weeks had anything to do with that? Well, I, th I think, too, that uh, Southeast would give them some credit to change their defense up from what they've been doing. So that gave us some problems, uh, you know, particularly in our protection and protecting Zach. Uh, we got a little impatient with the ball sometimes, tried to force some things. You know, it was just, uh, you know, tried to settle down, and we finally started getting in the groove, but it was just a little bit too late. People look at the school board and see where Southeastern scored 30 points, really not indicative of how outstanding your defense played. Were you surprised that Bennett did not throw any more than he did, especially in the first half? Well, I'll tell you what, um, I know that probably protecting their defense, run the football, try to grind the clock out with a lead, you know, typically that's the MO in most cases. Um, obviously, he threw the ball very well, you know, so. Uh, you know, and probably the packages that we're presenting probably, uh, you know, looked at it and they looked like maybe they could run the football at it. Unfortunately, special teams kind of let you down today. I know you won't have a better idea until you look at the film, but two field goal attempts blocked, a point after block. Any idea what went wrong? Well, um, they did a good job on the scheme, um, you know, jumping at the line of scrimmage. You know, uh, one of them, I wasn't real sure it's a rule where you can't land on top of players. I thought maybe it, um, that one, when that, that was blocked, maybe should have been looked at. Uh, the other one was a legitimate block, and then the third one that was blocked was uh, a low kick. So, you know, obviously we got to shore up our protection. We got to look at that, and then uh, of course, uh, got to get better at kicking the ball too. You said all along that just because you lose one conference game doesn't mean you're out of the conference no. race. I trust you still feel that way. Absolutely, I do. It's seven games to go, so. Um, one game doesn't make a season, you know what I mean? I and mean, it's the first one, obviously, and you want to you want to get off and get to a quick start. But you know, there's seven more to go. There's a lot of football to be played by everybody. Patrick, coach, uh, how do you review this four-game road trip? That's a tough stretch for any team. Uh, hold on one second, Patrick. Go go ahead, coach. What did you say to your ball club after the game? Well, I told them to keep their heads up. Uh, I thought they fought uh, from from the beginning to the end. Uh, I mean, obviously, we made some mistakes that we got to clean up. We got to get better. And uh, just like I just said a while ago, still seven conference games to go. So we got to uh, we just got to take care of us, take care of business, and you know, and we'll see how everything shakes out at the end. Well, it's been a long road stretch, obviously. I thought our kids have uh, really handled it beautifully. Our staff, um, you know, we did uh, everything possible to, you know, to get our team ready to play. But, uh, I, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's a game of football. It doesn't matter where you play that. You just got to bring your best every time you come. I think you're right. We got a, we got a, we got a good group. They'll they'll bounce back.